Hi, and welcome to In The Front Row, all things news, reviews, and interviews. My name's Jamie Lee, and joining me on the channel today, I have the lovely Katie Ryer. Is that how I pronounce yeah. it? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Awesome, and she plays Cassandra, the deep's wife in The Boys. Welcome, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having me, I'm excited. I'm so excited too. I feel like I've planned maybe 500 questions, and I'm planning <laughs> on asking maybe 499, so I've narrowed it down a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, we can just go rapid fire. It's a stream of consciousness thing. I'm down for it. I'm just <laughs> such a huge fan of this show, and I feel like I'm just going to blast you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can take it. I can take it. I'm also a fan of the show, so I, we'll just fangirl together. Totally, totally. So talking about the show, I need to ask, did you watch season one before you auditioned? Like, did you know what you were signing up for? No, no, not at all. Not even a little bit. Um, season one wasn't even out when I auditioned for it and when right. I filmed my first day. So I filmed my first day and I met Chase Crawford, who plays The Deep, and thought like, oh, wow, lucky me. I get to like be with this hunky guy. And then I watched the first season and was like, oh, his character's a monster. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know. I had no idea. So no, I was completely blind. <laughs> that is so funny because I was going to ask you that. I was going to say like, I know Chase is really good on the eyes, but like, was he that good that you signed up for, you know, all these crazy things because of him? <laughs> I mean, I, I only got to be on the show because they let me. I like, they, it was like, I'm lucky to be there, but yes, he's, he's wonderful to look at, but he's also just like such a great, easygoing guy. Like he's a lot of fun and like, yeah, n nothing like his character, thank God. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, huh? Uh, yeah. So with your audition, so you did it uh, prior to season one. What was the audition tape? Was it a blind audition? Did you have a scene from the show? What was that like? So I actually auditioned for Robin first, um, oh. Lee's girlfriend who died. Yeah. And Lucky I, you didn't I, get that role. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I, was, I was so bummed. I was like, oh my God, I love the script. I want to be in this show so badly. I knew that it ha that Seth Rogen was attached to it and Seth Rogen mm -hmm. is one of my heroes. So right. I, I was like, anything to do with him and I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. And then when I didn't get that, I was like, that's too bad. And then I got to audition for this seemingly smaller role Mm -hmm. of Cassandra and it was just the opening monologue where they are interviewing all these cult wives yeah and yeah. that was it it was just one little tiny monologue and that was it and it just turned into this yeah well that's a testament to you really because they must have really enjoyed your performance you know to keep inviting you back and to include you in more and more episodes so that's yeah really really good I would like to think so, but who yeah. knows? Maybe they were just like, we're running out of ideas. Let's just take this cult girl and make her, <laughs> get, them, get them back into the the seven together. I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't think that they would ever run out of ideas. Like my favorite thing about the show is that it takes the piss out of everything. Absolutely oh, everything that you can think of. You know, society issues, superhero movies, just every single thing. And that's one of the things that I most enjoy about it. You know, it's just such a fun, you know, you can't take it so seriously. It's just such a fun show. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is so fun. And, and it deals with heavy topics for sure. But, you know, you're signing up for a, for a superhero show, or that's what you think you're signing up for. And then it just turns into a political commentary Yet we're still all laughing. And yeah. it's characters like the deep that keep us laughing despite yeah. it all. So that it's nice to be part of that. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely one of my favorite characters because, you know, there's the gore and things like that. And then there's the serious moments. Obviously, Butcher had a lot in the last season here. But yeah, th there's always got to be somebody that is funny. And I just find the deep or Chase, maybe it is Chase. I'm not too sure. But I just find the things that he does so funny. Like it's not even the lines sometimes, it's just the, his expressions or his yeah, look towards you or Homelander and I just crack it. It's just so good. It is so funny. I, I'm going to give the credit to Chase for sure because he takes it so seriously and he has, he loves comedy and you can tell because he he really works at it. He's always improv -ing. But it's also just he's so sincere and you almost, almost feel bad for him at times. You're like, oh, he's so dumb, this sweet guy. <laughs> he's a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So how, like, obviously there's lots of funny moments. You work with one of the funniest ones. So how do you, 
contain yourself? How do you like snap back into, okay, we've got to get, you know, get focused here and get back on track? Because it would be very difficult to stay on track. I think honestly, it's an unglamorous uh, answer, but it's, it's just a lot of imposter syndrome. I like, I feel so lucky to be there surrounded by this incredible cast that like the mo- I'm it's just it's high stress so whenever I'm on set I'm like I need to be locked and loaded I need to be ready to go at any moment so it's it's I mean it's hilarious and it's so fun to work on and but you know at the end of the day it's a job and there's like a, a team of incredible artists working behind the camera that I need yeah. to I need to get my shot so that we can all go home essentially yeah right <laughs> Okay. And so is it, do you have any like tips or tricks that like help you memorize your lines, like any rituals or anything that you like remember your lines by? Um, or you I, just read them? <laughs> no, I wish. No, I, yeah, I, uh, I actually think I'm a, I'm a very like tactile learner and I think I actually write down all of my lines and especially with a character like Cassandra, because there's a lot more said in the eyes than there are words that she says. There's a lot That's more right. intention behind everything. Yeah. She's the puppet master, you know, she's the one pulling the strings. So a lot of what I do when I would get a script was I would write everything she's not saying okay. in the okay. little margins of the script, you know, the things that she's relaying like visibly with, with the deep. That's yeah. usually what help me learn yeah. them. And so is there a lot of improvising in, in your scripts or is it very, you know, stick to what is said? I think a lot of it is, is really stick to the words because it's so beautifully okay. written and so intentionally written. Yeah. The yeah. writers on the show are really incredible, like a thousand hats off to them. They're amazing. Um, but I think Chase is given a little bit of, he likes to play a little yeah, bit. Yeah, give a little bit more yeah. flexibility, hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's given a little bit more, but he also he... He works well with it. I would never dare improvise. Never. I'm like. It would freak you out. (laughs) No, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not there yet. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's something you can play with in the future. I'm sure. I'm season four, maybe. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Not that much. (laughs) Uh, So what do you think was your favorite or funniest scene to shoot that had you in it? Like what was your favorite one that you were in? Oh, um. Well, I guess now the whole season's out so we could talk about all of them. Yes, um, it is. <laughs> there was a lot of really funny scenes, but I think maybe one of the the ones that we laughed the hardest was um, the scene, the infamous Timothy scene. Holy shit, it's Timothy. Where yes. <laughs> poor Deep needs to eat his, his lover slash best friend, Timothy. Oh, such a great it's, scene. It's a hard scene to watch, especially <laughs> watching the beautiful visual effects. It was honestly really traumatizing to watch, but on the day we were all laughing so hard. And, and Colby sure. Minnicky, who plays Ashley, she, she was not taking any prisoners when it came to eating the seafood tower. Mm. She was going at it. She was like dripping vegan butter everywhere, and <laughs> washing it down and getting it all over her face. Oh. It, was a, it was a great group dynamic. And they've all known each other for so long that to see them interact together was really fun. And and to watch Anthony Starr work was inspiring. Oh. It's so inspiring. And I was just like, no acting necessary. I was just watching him like, Wow. I feel you. I am there with you. Every single video that I do about the boys, and there's been a lot now, every video, I just mention about how incredible he is. I mean, they fucking love me. Because he is just something else. I have never, and I don't know how he hasn't won awards before and how he isn't like so more like recognized and acknowledged yeah. because honestly, he, Again, with the not even the lines, it's his expressions, it's his facial movements, it's mm. everything. He's just fantastic. Oh yeah, he's chilling. He's chilling to watch. It's it's, yeah. it's I know he, there's so much that goes on in every little muscle that moves in his face, and it's just mm-hmm. a- absolutely awe inspiring. Yeah, he me shivers just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my favorite scenes are always the milk scenes because I just find them so like so disturbing but so funny. And I watch funny some, concept. Oh, it's so random. <laughs> and I watch some bloopers like of him like practicing and things like that, and that was just as funny as the actual scenes. You know, like him preparing himself to drink. Oh, it's oh, just great. 
Good oh, it's fun. so gross. It's so gross. <laughs> so let's get back to your favorite scene. Like you enjoyed the Timothy one. I've never dealt with special effects. I'm not in the industry, so I don't have a clue. But like Chase obviously had to put something in his mouth, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah. They had, um, they, again, an amazing team that works on the show. They actually created little mochi um, octopus little like tentacles. Okay. That you could kind of eat, but then the, the the really disgusting part was this little like pouch filled with like a black maple syrup jello type concoction yes. that he had to put in his mouth and bite down on so we can get the ink, the ink. explosion yes. that was so affecting. And uh, so yeah, that was probably the most, um, ugh, God, just, I mean, it was hilarious. Poor Chase, you know, it's so bad for him. But yeah, they, so they, a lot went into it. There was many different, and they, they even at one point, I think like put tape on his face and then like a puppeteer would be underneath the table pulling on his face as if tentacles were pushing and pulling on his face. A lot wow. went into it, it so realistic. Yeah. Wow, that is incredible. And it, it like, it really did look realistic and not even look, like even the sounds again with Ashley eating, um, oh, you, it was just disgusting. Oh, <laughs> Straight I up thought- disgusting. <laughs> And, and just so it's everyone knows, like, I was such a little baby. I was like, I think set food really grosses me out. So they were like, Katie, just really go for it. Like, eat, eat the food. Yeah, and I was be like, disgusting. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I had to spit everything out after a take. It was terrible. The food was actually good. It was edible, but I... I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was probably off-putting <laughs> you watching that and hearing all those exactly. noises. <laughs> so how exactly. many takes of that do you think you did? Like, was there a lot of takes or did, you know, Chase kind of nail it with that that bite? <laughs> I think there were probably more than he would have liked. <laughs> I would say maybe, maybe three of the actual. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, I don't think we could do too many more. <laughs> <laughs> you were over it by the second time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, what about someone else's scenes? Like what, what's another scene that you think is so like iconic and you really enjoyed? Um, oh God, uh, there's so, there's so, so many. many. <laughs> I gotta say I loved uh, Kamiko and Frenchie's dance performance, their musical performance. But I, I will say one of my absolute favorites um, was in the last episode Mm-hmm. Kamiko puts on earphones when she's got when she's ready to kick some ass yeah, yeah. and a footloose song comes on and she starts like dodging bullets while dancing to the music <laughs> and I was just like oh it's so cool I think yeah. she's like a character so oh I Anything love them does, I love yeah she's so good um and Frenchie Frenchie's one of my favorite ones he just has the best lines oh they're so Sorry. funny yeah oh okay. yeah they're so funny they're really they're really so funny so who's a character that you would have liked to, or who's an actor who you would have liked to have worked with? Like you did get scenes with Homelander, Ashley, obviously the deep, A-Train a little bit. Who would you have liked to have um, got some scenes with? I want to I wanna meet everyone from the boys crew. I've never met any of them. And I just want to... I just want to sit in a room with them, really. I got to meet most of the superheroes, but none of the boys. So any, really any of them. Carl Urban. Jack Quaid, yeah, yeah. I want to meet. <laughs> oh, so you didn't meet them at all on set, nope. like not character wise, like yourself. Yeah, yeah, myself. Wow. Okay. Right. Yeah, we let, always cross paths. I think I saw Karen in the distance once, and that's it. Yeah, I was just right. always with Chase, always. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of your scenes were in Vought Tower, and they were not really often at Vought Tower. So yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. 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 So if you were to, like, you were forced, or you maybe weren't so forced, uh, the deep was forced to marry you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you had a choice, which soup would you want to marry? A-Train. A-Train? A-Train. Just because. What? Cassandra, A-Train. Hey. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> Go from one idiot to another? <laughs> I'm just <Yeah>. kidding. <laughs> yes, I think. Um, just because uh homelander no <laughs> i mean i guess like mave seems like she has a lot of issues all of them seem pretty bad i guess starlight starlight was probably <laughs> the only reasonable one really but i just think i just love a train 
I think he seems damaged but sincere. And again, Cassandra seems to have a good time with these, like controlling these dumb idiots. So she'd probably really thrive. Yeah, you'd do really well with A-Train. <laughs> Uh, I always thought that you were a soup like you were just so sus and as you said a puppeteer and just in my mind I'm like what is this girl up to like she's so she's got to have a power (laughs) yeah I know I think a lot of people were thinking that like I think there's a lot of theories running around the oh so many like what kind of superhero powers she could have and I'm like I think her superpower is just a superior intellect guys she's able to manipulate stupid men yes yeah, stupid yeah. that is a superpower like that's pretty good <laughs> I think her power lies in her intellect and yeah. her like uh her, her manipulation so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's superpower in a way <laughs> yeah for sure uh if you could pick a superpower if you had a superpower you know had to take some compound b temporary or not temporary uh what superpower would you like to pick what, what would you like to experience oh I, i'm torn be- between invisibility and flying you know what i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with flying just that would for- be pretty cool it would be really convenient, you know? You yeah. could just skip over traffic, get from place to place really easily. And also, who who hasn't had those dreams of flying? It's gotta be flying. Yep, that's a good answer. Pretty good answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do they give you the whole script or do you only get like your scenes? Like, do you know what goes on for the whole of season one, for example, or how does that work? Yeah, yeah, we get the, the whole script. Um, if you're in the episode, but I actually stopped reading the whole script after I think episode five, because again, like I, I mentioned, I'm actually a fan of the show like mm-hmm. I, without even being a part of it. I just am such a fan. I wanted to leave a little bit of intrigue for myself. So I actually didn't know at all what happened in episode eight because I had just one little scene at the end and I was like, you know what? I don't need too much. I only like to read the information that I need for my character. Yeah. So I did read a lot of stuff that happened at Bot Tower. And if there was something to do with the deep, I would want to read into that because I don't want to have an uninformed character choice. But episode eight, I left completely in the dark and that was really fun to watch. I just watched it last night. Oh, so you watch it with us, like the rest of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Episode by episode, week by week. Wow, I thought that you guys would like sit at the end of wrapping the season and you know sit down and watch it as a big group. No, no, no. I think I think the the cast started doing press before they had seen the whole thing. So yeah, wow, that is incredible. We're experiencing it all for the all together. I mean, maybe just maybe just me, and I'm sure other people get to watch the entire thing, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, right. That's really interesting. So, is there anything or any one liners that you like pull into your everyday life from your character or from a different character in the show? Well, while I think about this, I would love to hear what yours is, what yours are. What butcher oh. lines do you love? I, I'd like to use fucking diabolical. <laughs> like all the time I say to my husband, like, eat this motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause, and like in his tone, you know, like, oh, he just, he's so fantastic. He just has the greatest lines. Yeah. Yeah. His, his swagger. I would like to take a little bit of butcher swagger with me everywhere I go. That, that confidence. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, I don't even, I don't know if like a saying necessarily, I have a pretty, pretty bad memory, but I can't even remember. So I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to butcher them. Pardon the pun. (laughs) Um, but I, I like the, I, the concept that I like to take away is that like, is the whole idea of what too much power can do to a person which is a theme throughout you know Mm -hmm. the whole crux of the of the show in my mind it's like when you have too much power it will ultimately corrupt you and when you watch that happen to butcher and huey more huey than anything and how it affects his mind when he takes the temp v and how that power gets to him yeah or the power the power dynamics in every relationship in this show like between starlight and huey and cassandra and deep you know that's a power dynamic right there yeah that's the thing that i like to take away from this and go like whoa i need to like watch this in the rest of my life and see these power dynamics play out yeah it's it's so true what you say and like a lot of this show as we spoke about a little bit earlier is you know reflected from real life 
because you're talking about the power, but like even the social media side of things. Yes, the way we're being marketed to. I, yeah. I actually, just, I actually thought of my of Cassandra, my favorite line of Cassandra's. I just, okay. it just popped into my head. <laughs> There's a point right after when she's leaving, the last line she says to the deep is, You're an idiot, Kevin. And I love that line. Yeah. <laughs> I, the moment I read it, I was like, this is so good. It reminds me of in the movie Home Alone, the mom mm -hmm. turns to little Kevin and goes, oh, she just, she's always yelling his name. And while I was doing that scene, I couldn't help but like channel my in, inner Catherine O'Hara. Your inner mom. <laughs> yeah. And I loved it. I loved that. I thought it was so funny. Yeah. You absolutely nailed that scene. I don't know how you did it. Honestly, how could you keep a straight face? You want me to fuck a, a fucking fish? <laughs> I don't know. So great. I tried to just take it as seriously as possible, but when you look, when you remove yourself from the situation and look back at what you just did, it's pretty funny. I think at the end of that day, Chase and I were both so hungry. They came around with their like crafty snacks. Mm -hmm. and I think we both got like two chicken burgers and just like sat there <laughs> in bathrobes, eat, like just like silently eating chicken burgers. <laughs> oh, I like, love it. What did we just do? Yeah, what is that? Oh, that would have taken a lot of time as well, that scene, because there would have been a lot of obviously visual effects there with that as well, right? Yeah, that, that one actually was really, yeah, it was I, probably equally as um, intricate in terms of the visual effects. They did also have fake octopi um really heavy ones too they, right. and they had to like dunk them in water and it was impossible not to laugh when he would reach into the tank and pull pull it out <laughs> oh yeah pull it out sorry gotta use yeah, the correct she, pronouns <laughs> use the pronouns when she he'd pull her out and he she would just be dripping onto like that that entire bed by the way was just damp which, they were like spritzing water on it it was actually one of the most uncomfortable days yeah right uh, just because of the physics not because of the content even that was funny and and chase is like such an easy guy to work with mm -hmm. but it was it was disgusting it was disgusting and and again there was like puppeteers on set they would have they had fake little tentacles and it was very intricate yeah for sure. It's one of, again, probably my favorite scenes with you in the deep. I just love when he turns to the octopus and he turns around and he's like, just feelings. It's okay. Oh. I think that might have been improv on his part. I think there was a lot of little turns to uh, Ambrosius <laughs> that were all improv on Chase's part. It was hilarious. Oh, so funny. Yeah, I just, that's what I wonder sometimes, you know, like how much thought actually goes into, you know, the words and things like that. So yeah, it's good to know that he does throw some, you know, his own lines in there as well. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, like even the puppeteering and things like that, like we watch it as a fan, but you don't have any idea of how much effort goes into movies, you know? I know it's it is like I'm watching it I keep on forgetting how much like in the, in the, these fight scenes are like they everything is just like so detail oriented and they do tiny little movements and then when you see it all put together you're like wow that looks effortless yeah <laughs> is there other things that you'd like want to experience like a certain character role or like special effects or like stunts is there anything in your career that you want to try oh tons tons and tons and tons of stuff um i actually love playing I, I think i i've had had a few roles like this just a bit of an odd an odd duck i play a lot of like kind of crazy or unhinged people um and i think i would like to a chance to play someone quite normal that would be nice yeah right someone, i i'm a huge rom-com fan so to be like a meg ryan that would be that would be a dream. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. On the other part of that, on the other hand, like I would like to do action, an action scene, like yeah. a whole fight sequence. That would be incredible. So either Meg Ryan or Kamiko. <laughs> Oh, exactly exactly <laughs> oh unreal um yeah th i mean those sound like really good things to um yeah strive for and hopefully yeah you achieve that one day and we get to see you in a lot more things doing you know some romance there's nothing you can't achieve hashtag dream big
Yeah, well, actually, I do have a writing partner, and uh, we we write rom coms actually for television. So oh, awesome. I, we're we're dabbling in that world, and hopefully one day I'll get to be in one of them and live out my dream. Yeah, <laughs> something that you've wrote and then start in is that what you mean? That's what you would like to do? Yeah, I mean that that would be the dream down the line eventually. Yeah. Oh, awesome! Fantastic. All right, I just want to play a quick little game with you. Yeah. What's your favorite show that you're watching at the moment? The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Favorite animal? A panda bear. What's your favorite musician? Um, I really love Jack White. Favorite food? It's gotta be pasta. No seafood for me. <laughs> I'm a bit of a break. And what's your favorite saying? Everything in moderation. Yeah. Including moderation. <laughs> nice. That's a good answer. Uh, is there anything that you've got uh, upcoming that we should be looking out for? Or should we just be focusing on maybe season four of The Boys Touchwood, hopefully? Um, not at the moment. Um, if you want, you can catch a glimpse of me in Roland Emmerich's Moonfall that came out this past year. Um, I'm on a, a, a show up here in Canada uh, called Pillow Talk. Um, and so you can see that on HBO. And um, that's it for now. For now, fingers crossed, season four, we have no idea, but maybe. Yeah. Have they started filming yet? Or you're not too sure? No, no, I think Not it's the end of summer they're going to begin, but it's it's going to be soon. So the fans won't have to wait as long as they did for the, uh, season three, which is great. So, so good. There's so many theories, as you've already said. Just last night, I was watching, you know, some things on the internet and they were talking about like Ryan and what, you know, his name would be. And there were things like Homeboy. <laughs> yeah, was yeah, Homeboy. <laughs> and then there was like Rylander, like Homelander and Ryan. Oh, and I thought so funny and you guys are just so creative so so cool uh anyway i won't keep you too much longer talking about the boys maybe in six months or a year's time we can do this again and yeah we'll be married yeah, to a train <laughs> yes oh don't tease don't tease <laughs> uh hopefully we'll see you in season four if not obviously we can go check you out you know on pillow talk and other things and hopefully some more things in the future yeah fingers crossed okay thank you so much for joining me thank you this is fun